Many of us have become quick to catch illusions that trick our eyes, but how often do you consider yeah, illusions me. of the ear? Are you really able to trust your ears and the things they hear? No. For example, listen to Greg speaking. Bar, 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 bar. What do you hear? Bar? If you heard bar, 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 you'd be right. But how about now? Bar, 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 oh, bar. Oh, I know what's going on here. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. Bar, bar. Chances are you heard far, far, far this time with an F. Except you didn't. In fact, the audio didn't even change between the two videos. Bar, bar, bar. bar Strange as it may seem, what bar, you hear depends on which bar, video you're looking at. Go ahead, take turns watching bar, each video and see how the sound morphs. Bar, 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 bar. This is a perfect example of something called the McGurk effect, bar, which shows how our visuals can alter what we believe we're McGurk. hearing. Now I want you to count how many times you see a circle flash on screen. Let's one. do that one more time. Did you see it flash Ow. twice? Many people do. No. Yet without the sound, it becomes clear that the circle is only flashing once. Oh, a lot of In this case, too. the sound has altered your perceived vision. The next one works best with other people around. I'll play two tones and you tell me if they're ascending or descending. In other words, are the notes played from low to high okay, or ready? high to low? Listen to this. Which was it? How about this one? Wait. Okay. Da -da. That's ascending, right? Da -da. Da -da. It goes, ha ha. Right? Write down what you heard for each number and let us know in the comments. Chances are, if you compare with enough people, you'll all have different answers. Really? Surprising? Try some more. I feel like almost everyone's saying it's going low to high. Okay, that one was... High to low. I think what they've done is they've stacked multiple notes. That's what it sound like. Sounds like. But that and one's on a one. high to low. That one definitely sounds high to low. Da -da. Are you kidding me? Does anyone think this one doesn't sound high to low? And this one. Da -da. Okay, a lot of people think it's low to high. What? No, I'm not Papega. You're Papega. How is it possible that you're hearing something different from others? It's an auditory illusion called the tritone paradox. It's created in such a way that the tones contain both a higher and lower frequency in them, but our brains have a preference of which to listen to. That's what I said. Diana Deutsch, the creator of this illusion, found that your geography and language from infancy ah! all play a role in deciding this preference. Finally, listen to this audio clip of a, a gradually climbing tune. <laughs> Oh God, it's coming for us. And yet, if I play the exact same clip back to you, it will sound like it's only continuing to climb higher and higher. I swear this is the exact same clip I just played. You can rewind that section of this video over and over and check for yourself. Try it. Each time you start it. No way, chat! That's shaman magic! <gasps> We're all gonna die. You can rewind that section of this video over and over and check for yourself. Try it. Each time you start it over, the tune is seemingly climbing even higher. It's called the shepherd tone illusion, of which there are many variations. In it, multiple sine waves are played on top of one another, raising in pitch, while one quickly drops down an octave as the others continue rising. But our brain doesn't notice this drop, and so the clips sound like they're rising forever. These illusions may help to explain how something like music can have such a profound yet varying effect on our minds, which we discuss in our new ASAP Thought episode here, along with the question of whether or not music can save your life. There's a what? link in the description to watch it. So, do you still trust your ears? Got More! This episode is Resend supported- Resend 87, thank you for five months, man. By Simply Safe. Which of these three faces do you think is the oldest? A, B, or C? A. It's C looks the youngest. A or B is the toss-up. A or B.
The answer is actually none of them because... Because they're all fake people, they don't exist. None of these people were ever born. These faces were all generated by artificial intelligence. Now, thinking about artificial intelligence, look carefully at these two paintings. Which of these does your mind think is created by AI? Is it painting A or painting B? I mean, they're probably both created by AI. It's either that or the one you don't think it's going to be, right? So everyone's going to say painting A, but it's actually painting B. Give up? The clue is in the signature. The AI seems a bit busted on this one. Bruh. But someone loved it as it went at an auction for $432,500. To explain how these images are generated, let's first look at these images of fruit. By now you know that one isn't real, but is it the apples or this the This one. Easy, this one. Easy this one. If you said apples, you're right. Essentially, a system is fed hundreds of images to learn from. It's then split into two systems. System 1's job is to create a convincing image of an apple, and System 2 is designed to figure out which images of apples are fake. This is known as a generative adversarial network. If System 1 fails at tricking, it continues to evolve its apple designing skills, and if System 2 fails at identifying the fake, it must also improve its ability to catch a fake. This ultimately creates a feedback loop that generates extremely believable images. Now, let's try to relax and listen- Where, What are those websites where you can make that stuff? To some music, while well, you try to deduce which is composed by a computer. Ooh. If this is computer made, it's very good. Oh shit. Okay, I think the first one. Turns out that composition A is generated by a machine learning yes! system called Emily Howell, which was created in the 90s and learns from a library of music to create original pieces. And composition B, that's by Johann Sebastian Bach. A larger library of music will give the machine learning networks more data to learn from, and the same is true for video. Because we upload such huge amounts of Zab. video content online, neural networks have begun to create convincing fake videos. Here's a video of the 44th president of the United States, Barack Obama. People not trapped by our past, but able to remake ourselves as we choose. But today, our immigration system is broken. Wow. And everybody knows it. And here's another. It's been less than a week since the deadliest mass shooting in American history. And foremost in all of our minds has been the loss and the grief felt by the people of Orlando. Which of these two are real, video A or B? A. Known as a deep fake video, video B is generated using AI. With over 14 hours of footage from the president's weekly addresses, neural network AI is able to model the shape of Obama's mouth and uses audio from one of Obama's previous addresses. But can AI generate convincing synthetic audio? Listen to this phone call. How can I help you? Hello? Hello, what's up, man? Hey, um, I wanted to know what are your hours for today? 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Okay. They both sound like, they you both sound like rob robots. No problem, sir. Can you tell which of the callers is human? Voice B, the voice you hear asking about the hours the business was open, yes. was fake. We're relying more and more on technology today, which is making our lives easier. Much like Simply Safe, the sleek new home security system who sponsored today's video. We bought a house recently and finally realized Love. what it feels like to go anywhere and be like, okay, legit, we're probably gonna be robbed right now. And the stats are in. America has a robbery every 15 seconds, most of which happen while you're at work. So join our new Zen life by going to simplysafe.com slash ASAP and ease your mind. ASAP. The important for us in our new pad is that it looks cute. The design is awesome. It's intuitive intuitive to set up and use, you barely notice the sensors are there, and we like that it does cool things like remind you if you left the door open, because Greg literally does that all the time, oh my he God. leaves the door wide open when he leaves. In the event of an actual break-in, it can immediately contact the police. We literally just set up our own at home, and it's just one of those things where you get like peace of mind knowing- <laughs> Did you guys see? <laughs> just look at the guy on the left. We literally just set up our own at home, and it's just one of those things where you get, like, peace of mind. No. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's move on.